afternoon. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. I thought I would do a market review. I was going to do one earlier this week and then I just got busy with things and I thought, well, I guess I'm going to do it now because clearly, clearly, clearly I have 100% conviction, which I've been saying all along, the market is higher this year in 2013. So it is 5.45 on July 12th. And the market did a beautiful gap up, a bullish gap yesterday on the 11th. I saw it and I don't remember what time I said, let me go back and look at the two minute chart or the five minute. I actually called a trade to buy the market and <laughs> I didn't do it because I don't go long, but I called it for my room to buy the market and put the stop under 45. It was like right around in here. Whatever, whatever time this was in here that I saw we were going to hit over it. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, and it was a good call. It was a nice call. It was a five hour trade with a 10 cent stop right up to the target, which was $75. And the market got up to it. Now, when we gapped up this morning, I said, we're either going to have a tiny, weeny, little, tiny doji day of no color or a small, tiny, tiny, little bodied red day, but we're not really coming in. I must have said a hundred times, we're not going to come in today. We're really not going to come in today. Even if we start to trade down, we're not coming in today. And I said, or the other option is we break out heavily, aggressively over 75 and run. And that's actually what we did. We actually touched over 75, went up to 75.15 in the morning, came in and we started to go red. And I'm sure people were shorting stuff right and left thinking that the market was going to come in and turn around and go red because we're extended. But the fact is we're really not extended. Look at this. This isn't extended. You got to look at something from a different viewpoint. Okay. Now we ran up, we came in, we ran up, we gapped down, we fell and we retraced and pulled in. This is a, this is a pull in. Then we rallied. I really did a good job reading this because this wasn't easy. My my intuition kicked in here in high gear watching that type of rally. I said this is a weak rally, but as I was verbalizing the weak rally, I still said it's a rally, meaning we're holding. Any kind of rally is a hold. It's a real rally. Weak as it was because there really wasn't any lots of green bars in here, it was still a rally. We could have come down here in a daily sell setup. We didn't. We could have come down in here in a daily sell setup. We didn't, and we rallied. And we rallied, 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 and we gapped up here. And this seems extended be oh, simply because of the fact that we retraced, but we came in hard. So we came in hard and retraced. So if you take this out, let me see if I can squish this down to make it look like you couldn't see this. If you squish it, we're not extended. I'm trying to find a better way to do it to explain what I mean here. If you squished these bars, let's see if I can find a way to do this here. Let's go back to April. Just want to prove a point here. This isn't extended. Just look at this, just visually look at something in a new way here, okay? This is not extended. So we rallied up and we pulled in. This is basically, if you look from tip to toe here, a retracement. So we're not extended. So when we came in, I, I saw it. I was like, Ooh, this is interesting. And you know, it was funny as it was happening. I was like, wow, this is really going to hold. And whatever time I called to buy in the market, I knew and had 100% conviction we're going to hold. And this was yesterday in the 11th. And I even said this morning when we gapped up neutral a little bit here, the way that this was shaping itself up here, I said, this is bullish. What I thought we would do, which we didn't, I thought we'd gap up a lot after the run up on the 11th. I thought this morning pre-market we gap up big and then come in red, but that's not how we did it. We gapped neutral. That was bullish and it, it is bullish and it proved it because we ran up today. We went up to another level. So the point I'm trying to make is that the market is higher. And I've been saying this for a long time now, you know, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that a lot of people kept telling me we're coming in, we're coming in, we're coming in. This is, you know, a big topping tail with a red bar and lower highs and higher lows all along here. And we had a good discussion in, the mar in, in my trading room actually yesterday because, you know, everyone was saying, gosh, you know, we understand what you're saying, Melissa, but our, our gut is not, not, not seeing this. 
like the stuff that I teach people are comprehending. I think they're having a hard time believing that everything I'm saying is is actually turning out to be what it is. Because the fact is that this is a gap that happened yesterday and it's real. And everything that I'm teaching people about gaps and what I know and the way I'm trading them is real. It sounds like too good to believe in the sense that something like a gap could actually set the tone for a chart. But the reality is it does. This is a reason that I'm successful as a trader because I understand how to trade gaps. I know how to read what the good ones are and I know what the bad ones are too. And if you want to be good, you got to know what is good to trade and what isn't good to trade, what's real and what's not. And quite frankly, if you want to be a successful trader, even if you don't want to trade gaps, even though I think if you learn how to learn about them, you'll, you'll decide, oh my gosh, I have to trade these things. There's really nothing else I could possibly do that makes any sense after you learn gaps. But I think gap trading helps people trade no matter what strategy they do because it helps them learn how to read trends and stock charts. And this is the other class that I teach besides the gap class, the trend class. It's very important to understand trends. And I, I you know, you could say, well, lower highs and higher lows and boop, 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 boop. But there's so much more to trading than that. What is it? It's the price. And why, how does the price reflect it in a chart in a gap? There's no stronger, higher, more powerful, more flamboyant expression or definitive nature of a, of a chart, of a market, of anything than the price of something. And when a gap rates high and sets up to go and work, it is real. It's going to follow through or change the trend in a chart. And you must respect these gaps. They are 100% real. And as, as crazy as it sounds to think of something that could rally up for 10, 12 days, could still go higher. It absolutely is. The low of this bar here is 74.25, and it's the high of this bar over here. Where is it? I found him. Oh, here. No, where was it? I just found him. Here, it was this one. I knew it was over here. This guy. And really these are areas because this is 7433. So this is 7433 and 7427, but it counts. It's real. There it is. Yep, look at that. So once again, I think it's really important to learn how to trade looking at the bigger picture. If you look in too minuscule of a time frame, you're not going to get it right all the time. In fact, you're going to get it wrong more than you get it right. This is one of the things that traders uh, struggle with. If you look at a bigger picture, you're going to get it right. And actually, to be honest with you, though, this is easy to me because if you look at it in a smaller picture, you can see how this was an up and down retracement. Therefore, it's not extended that we rallied up here. You see what I mean? So... So we're higher. The market is nowhere to go but higher. Uh, didn't really look here to see where we're going next. Actually, I did the other day. I forget what the numbers were. I wrote them down in my book. It's probably somewhere about up here. I don't think there's anything stopping us till then. Nope. Oh, I think we're at least going to get up to 80 before we even think of any pull in. It's five dollars away. It's not a million miles. It'll be a nice rally in the market. I don't know if we get there in one shot or if we wiggle and jiggle a little bit, but uh, I, I know we're higher. I said we were higher this year all along because we're in an uptrend. And unless the market does something to tell me that we're in a downtrend, we're not. Like this gap that happened here was a gap, but this didn't change the trend of the chart. Therefore, it didn't do anything but just run on the day. Create a short-term miniature time frame pull-in, but it wasn't a real gap to change the trend of this chart. So therefore, it flipped, and it flipped rather quickly. And in the real time when I saw this happening, I said, as soon as we close over this, we're going to just go boo. But it took a couple of days, and then we did it in a gap. Beautiful. So this is the QQQs. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Beautiful chart of the market. I knew we'd break over 75. I've been saying it the last however many weeks. And I thought we might retest it and then come in and then break over it. But we did it right away. So there we have it. It's just proving how strong we are. We could have retested it and not gotten over it. I mean, actually, yesterday we closed, but we like ran out of the day here. We closed just a dink over it. We could have gapped down today or something or just retraced in, but we closed so strong, like I knew we were going to follow through. But uh, 
I thought we might retest 75 and then come in and then blow over it. We just blew over it not that far after it. So definitely, definitely higher. This is clear to everyone. You must respect the strength of the trend that's happening in the market. The market is higher. And I think more participants are going to come in now in the next week. Why? Because it's really clear now the market's higher. I think it's been clear all along. But for those people that don't know how to read gaps or don't know how to read trends or weren't exactly sure, the late bloomers are going to come in and start buying now in the next week. And then the market's going to have the nice little rally that may just take us right up to 80. So if you'd like more information and if you want to learn how to trade gaps, even if you want to not trade them, day trade them, but swing trade them, core trade and just learn how to read trends and charts or even the trend class, then contact me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. You're going to become a better trader if you learn how to trade gaps, even if you don't trade gaps as your strategy. Why? Gaps tell you what is happening in a chart. There isn't anything better. It's almost to the fact when you see these things work so amazingly well to the point of disbelief. You question yourself or what you think makes sense. But if you know how to trade gaps and how to read them, everything they do makes sense. In fact, nothing else makes sense to me. And I think that's why I'm trading so clearly lately. Um, you know, for the last, you know, year, year and a half, really just seeing things so, so clearly because of the length of time that I have been trading gaps. Where I was talking about that too in the room this week. Uh, you know, there's something to be said for experience. There's really something to be said for experience. And the longer you do one thing, the better you're going to get at it, that you're going to become successful. Too many people learn things and jump from thing to thing to thing. You've got to stick with one thing to get good. And if you stick with that one thing and you're doing it for a length of time, you're going to become successful as long as the thing you learned works. And the stuff that I teach about gaps is real and it works. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great Friday night. This is the QQQ Stock Market Update. If you need anything, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.